Hello Android community, welcome to JVL, Jams Virtual Lab. In this video, I'll explain the concept behind Pin and Code Memorizer and also show you how to use Pin and Code Memorizer to store your pins in a safe and secure way. So let's get started. Say you have lots of pins of various accounts that you just need to remember or you sometimes just forget them or don't know where to store them safely. Well then in that case you use pin and code memorizer so that you could hide your pin inside a chart that will be fully populated with random numbers and, and, and colors will be used to confuse the viewer. Only you will know where to find your pin number based on a pattern that you have initially chosen. Say for example your pattern will be chosen at the corners. Say your pin will be stored at A1 J1, A5, and J5. And let's say your pin number is 3579. Then you would go ahead and put your pin accordingly. 3, 5, 7, 9. So your pin will be 3579 and they're stored at the corners. But obviously this will be really obvious where the pin is. So you will randomize the numbers and in this case since there are so many random numbers and colors a normal viewer would not know where to find your pin number. And this is the beauty of it that only you will know where to find your pin Let's number. Let's say for example now you do not want your pattern to be based on position now you will use colors instead no problem let's just forget about the corners for now and let's keep the same pin number our pin number was 3579 and now you want to use let's say skipping blues so when I mean skipping blues it just means every other blue so let's go ahead and find this will be our first blue here in this cell we will store the first digit of our of our pin 3 and then we find a second blue this will be just be a random number we'll skip it and go to this blue and this one will store the second digit of our pin which is 5 alright and then we go ahead and find the next one this one we will skip go ahead and change this one to 7 which is the third digit of our pin go ahead and skip this one and then lastly we got here 9 so basically now we have stored our pin number in a pattern that's based on colors 3, 5, 7, 9 you Great. could use this concept and create any pattern of your choice just use your creativity because the choice of your pattern will determine how secure your pins will be so just go ahead and be creative create your patterns based on positions could be no vertical lines could be diagonal it could be backwards it could be based on s colors like skipping red or skipping blues or it could just be the first four red colors or first four green colors you can make them go backwards forward whichever way you want so that will be it for the concept now let's go ahead and sh show you how to use the app itself in this part of the tutorial I'll actually show you how to use the pin and code memorizer app to create a new chart delete a chart and modify a chart to store your pin let's, let's get started first we fire up the pin and code memorizer once it opens up the first thing you see is example which you don't really need because it's just a dummy example to create a chart it's pretty simple go ahead and press menu and then click on add new in here you just put the name of the chart um, let's say mileage plus account and you choose between pin and general pin is basically a chart that contains colors general is same chart without the color so it would just have blank backgrounds so in this case we choose pin and click add now you have created your first chart 
the first chart that you create is always empty so now let's go ahead and populate the chart we'll use menu first the chart is always locked so in order to unlock it you just click on this and now you see that the check mark is gone so that means that the chart is unlocked and you feel free to modify it at will so the first thing will be to randomize the numbers because I will be using a pattern based on colors so let's say randomize colors now now we have this bunch of random colors and numbers let's go ahead and keep the same pattern which is keeping blues now if you see we do not have enough blues so we can just randomly choose any any cell and create our pin so let's say this is this is three and the color is blue I'll click apply and then we can just have a random blue here and then apply um, we're using the same pin so let's go ahead and put a five in here S so if you remember the previous pin was three five seven nine go ahead and save that and then we have three five we skip this one this one will be seven this one just a random number and this one will be nine and then after you have made your changes go ahead and lock the chart so that you're not allowed to modify it anymore so that's it you have created your first chart with the pin 3579 stored in here in a skipping blue pattern now let's go ahead and create another one um, we just go back press the back button and you'll see the charts say menu add new just create another one um, let's say this one will be visa pin number and just click add like usual just go ahead and unlock it and now randomize the numbers great so let's say now our pin for our visa is one two three four so in this case the first blue will be one skip this one this one will be two skip this one this one will be three skip this one and then lastly this one will be four this last one you can just ignore or you can just change it to another another color say green so as to not confuse you all right now go ahead and lock it and there you go now you have created your second chart so now I will show you how to delete a chart um, we go back to the, our first screen our main screen and then here we can see that we have three charts example mileage plus account and visa pin and say for example that you want to delete visa pin very simple go ahead and long press the visa pin so you just long press it and then you'll be asked if you really want to delete the chart if you do just click OK and it will be deleted now let's say for example that you have to change the pin number of the mileage plus account no problem you can easily modify it so let's go ahead and click on mileage plus account and here you see the old chart with the old numbers first you have to unlock it once it's unlocked you can change the content so say instead of 3579 now your pin number is a 2468 so go ahead and change this 3 to a 2 uh, skip this one this will become a 4 skip this one and this will become a 6 skip this one and this one becomes an 8 and lastly lock it again and there you go you have changed your pin number to a new value so this is how you go about using my app to store your pin numbers and remember that your pattern you choose could be used throughout many or all of your charts and also remember that you can have as many charts as you want pin and code memorizer is a tool provided to you and you still have to use your own creativity to create your own charts thank you for watching this video and see you next time